In this video, I will demonstrate active reading of a paragraph of math text in the opening chapter on algebra. So this is the paragraph. Now you may take a second, a few moments to read this. So, so if we ask ourselves, what are the key points in this paragraph? And which phrases or sentences are difficult that I have difficulty understanding, right? So let me see if I can help you make sense of some of the sentences. So it says that algebra generalizes and builds on aromatics and its property. What does that mean? You know, maybe if we probably could come up with some example or to illustrate. So let's consider just this P minus 0.2P. So it involves a variable. It's an expression, right? So let's try to make sense of these expressions with some actual numbers. So like $50 is P minus 0.2 times $50. Okay. So in order to make sense of it, we need to know the order of operations. We, need, we know that we need to multiply before subtracting. So 0.2 times $50 is $10. And then after that, we do the subtraction. And we'll get an answer of $40. So then we, the next sentence says, in algebra, we consider not just individual calculations, but whole collections of calculations all at once. So what is the author trying to communicate? What do we mean by not just individual calculations? So what are individual calculations? Let, let's just see if we can make sense of it. So the, in this case, the individual calculations are the two steps. First, we need to do 0 0.2 times 50 to get the 10. And then after that, we subtract the 10 from 50 to get the 40. So these are the individual calculations. But in algebra, we want to be able to see as the whole collections of calculations. That means all calculations at once. So that means if we are looking at these expressions, you know, it's like everything in one. All right. It's like an algorithm. It tells you what to do. Okay. Now, so in algebra, P minus 0 0.2 P can be viewed as one quantity, the final price after taking off the 20% discount, which that means I only need to pay 80% of, of it. So if we simplify it, it's essentially 0 0.8 P, right? So the next sentence says, using algebra, we can work with quantities that change and we can relate quantities that change together. Hmm, what does that mean? So here, I only have P. Maybe I need a second quantity. So let's call the second quantity as final price. So F is equal to 0 0.8 P. So now we have a final price and we have a least price, original price. So we can see that if my P change, my F will change accordingly.